Hey guys, so today Apple has released another beta for iOS 17.1. iOS 17.1 developer beta 3 is now here. So Apple is officially on a weekly release schedule, which means, of course, this software could soon be released to the public. In this video, of course, we'll go over what's new and when we can expect this software to be officially released to the general public. So let's go ahead and dive right into this video. Now, the first thing to note here is that this software update came in at approximately 600 to 700 megabytes of a download now if you're a public beta tester you'll most likely see ios 17.1 beta 3 populate for you here in the next 24 hours or so as per usual so as we take a look here at general and the about section we see that on the latest build number the number is 21b 5066a now the letter a towards the end of that build number usually means that we're getting close to an official release of the software as i mentioned we'll talk about that here in just a few seconds but aside from ios 17.1 beta 3 apple has also updated the ipad with ipad os 17.1 beta 3 now available for the ipad mac os 14.1 beta 3 is now available for the mac watch os 10.1 beta 3 is available for the apple watch and something interesting happening here apple has yet to deliver beta 3 for tv os so we'll have to wait and see so no tvOS beta 3 just yet but aside from that apple has also released official software updates for older devices so non-beta software has also been released for older devices running ios 16 or devices that do not support iOS 17, like the iPhone 10 here, for example. Now, as we go into the security notes here, in regards to iOS 16.7.1, Apple has patched two security flaws that they patched previously with iOS 17.0.3 into iOS 17. So remember last week, we saw iOS 17.0.3 to address some of the overheating concerns on iPhone 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max. And aside from that, there was two security flaws being patched. Those security flaws are now being and patch with iOS 16.7.1 for the iPhone and the iPad again that do not support iOS 17 or if you have a device that supports iOS 17 but have yet to update you can actually update to 16.7.1 to have those security patches in place. Now with iOS 17.1 Apple aims to bring quite a bit of improvements and new features to the iPhone. For example if we go into settings general and head on over into airdrop you'll find a new option that's called use cell data. This allows you to of course continue to send large files using an airdrop without having to be with an airdrop range i'm sure you've been in that situation where you're sending maybe a video or something like that that's kind of long and you have to stand next to the person until it's completely sent over airdrop you no longer will have to do that with 17.1 you now have that new option to send it over your cell data without having to be with an airdrop range awesome feature coming to 17.1 now also with an apple music apple has added some minor changes here so if you're listening to a song right and you like that song you have this new star here and you can press on that star you get some features feedback some nice animation here letting you know that you just favorited a song which is simple and nice ui change here as well i like the fact that you can now also edit the playlist covers so you can go ahead into a playlist here and change the cover of that playlist apple will give you some suggestions to choose from as you can see right here so i like this minor touch to apple music but yet something that was needed here within ios 17.1 will be coming later this month now there's also some questions that you guys have where is the journal application well, the journal application still not here with iOS 17.1 developer beta 3. Apple may delay the journal application maybe with iOS 17.2 later in November. We'll have to wait and see. But the journal application still not here with iOS 17.1 developer beta 3. Now, for those of you that keep asking in regards to some of the exclusive features on iPhone 15, this one here, which is called the charging optimization options, is Apple adding this to older devices? Well, I got the report here in beta 3 we still do not have those options available on iPhone 14 or any other device that's running iOS 17 and the one option you guys always ask about is the battery information for battery cycle we don't have that here just yet either these two features look to be exclusive to iPhone 15 I'm not sure why that is but yeah if we go into the about section iPhone 15 can tell you the manufacture date, the first use, the cycle count, battery information that isn't available on older devices for some reason. For those of you asking, still not available here on older devices in beta 3. Now with iOS 17.1, Apple has also included an update for iPhone 12 users, specifically in France, to accommodate for SAR or specific absorption rate regulations. If you want to learn more, I'll link that in the description down below. It is important to know that iPhone 12 has always been safe to use around the world.
Now, Apple has also updated the battery indicator icon on the status bar, which looked a little bit squared off in previous betas. It is now looking good on the current beta. So what's going to happen from here on out? When can we expect iOS 17.1? Well, if history is any indication and Apple follows previous schedule from previous releases last year for the iOS 16.1, it looks like iOS 17.1 could release as early as October the 23rd or on the week of October the 23rd. Again, if history repeats itself, then we'll see iOS iOS 17.1 in the next two weeks being released to the general public. So next week, we will most likely see a beta and an RC, and then the official release again on the week of the 23rd of October. Apple could push that back even another week on the 30th. We'll have to wait and see. But again, if history repeats itself, next week we'll see one beta, RC, and then the official release the following week on the 23rd. We'll have to wait. iOS 17.1, no general application as of yet could be delayed, but right now Apple continues to to refine the operating system this is just a quick update make sure to stay tuned for my follow-up where i take a dive into the battery the performance and everything else in between here in the next 48 hours or so thank you for watching and i'll see you guys on the next one peace